Deb Felder here with another video for you that I'm hoping will bring you some inspiration and teach you some tricks of the trade. I love what I do and I hope that comes through here. So let's get started with today's card. I'm featuring a watercolor today using our Tombow markers. This is such an easy way to watercolor. All the products that I use in our video today can be found in our Teaspoon of Fun paper crafting shop and each blog post has a cl clickable list of these products used. There is a link to the shop in the description below or um, in the little eye above in the right hand corner and that'll get you right to Teaspoon of Fun. So let's get started. This is the card that we're gonna do today. It is so super easy. I'm gonna use a few of our newer products such as our stamp wheel and um, I hope you get used to using them also. So what I'm gonna do is, this is the way I have my stamp wheel set up, but because I'm using a red rubber stamp, I need to take this off. I can use this piece all by itself and um, it's amazing. As a matter of fact, that's what I'll do after I um, stamp this. Um, just to show you how so versatile this little stamp wheel is. It's amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and put my cardstock over here. I have my stamp wheel right here and I've lined it up so that um, the rubber stamp is right here in the uh, right hand corner. All right, I put on my stamp wheel little happy faces so I know what is the top, what is the bottom. It just works a whole lot easier that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna actually color this with our Tombow markers, spritz it and then stamp it. It's so super easy. So I'm gonna use nine of our colors right here. All right, I'm gonna start with, um, let's see, I'll start with the green and that are that's my leaves, okay? So all I'm gonna do is take and color all of my leaves in and I'll be right back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a little bit of my um, 528 and that is a blue marker. All right, so the first one I used is 177. This is a must have marker, absolutely must have marker. Now I'm gonna be using my 528, all right? And that's just gonna give it a little bit of, um, darkness to it okay you're probably wondering why don't why don't I go with a darker green because this looks so pretty all right and I'm just kind of going um, toward the bottoms of these all right just kind of feathering its way up I'm going to do some adjustments afterwards but for right now I'm just laying on the color to the, the ru rubber stamp I have my leaves all done now what I'm gonna do is, um, I think I'll do my berries. So my berries, I'm gonna use two colors also. For the lighter color, I'm gonna use 850, and for the darker color, I'm gonna use 837. So what I'll do is just color the whole thing in with my 850. And we only have a couple berries, so this isn't gonna take very long at all to do. So I'll just talk to you while I'm doing it. All right, so just laying the color on there all right, there's one, and then I'm gonna take and just add some of my red to it, okay? You can kind of see the, the difference in the two of them, all right? Like I said, there's not a lot of berries. This is so fast. It's a lot of fun and so gratifying afterwards to see the finished product, all right? So there's my red, got my berries all done. Now I'm gonna do my um, my flowers. So I'm gonna lay down some, uh, let's see, I think I'll go with my, my 993, that's my yellow, okay? So I'm gonna do that first. That's gonna be my lighter color. And you know when I do Copics, I always do the, the lighter color first. Not everybody does it that way. Not everybody does their watercoloring this way, but uh, this is the, the Deb way. And I like 
like the way it comes out and that's what's important is that you like the way your piece comes out. So I'm almost done laying the first color on here. Alrighty, now what we're gonna do is add a little bit of our, so that color was the 993, and now what I'm gonna do is take my 925, and that's kind of an orangey color, and I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with my leaves. I'm just gonna go from the center out. All right, and doesn't have to be real perfect, just a little bit of extra color. There we go. Now these are watercolor markers. Do not try to do this with permanent markers because it's not gonna be the same. All right, so now then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the centers. So we'll do the centers with the 947. And we don't have a whole lot of centers, but we do have some. So let's start with these right down here and I'm just kind of dabbing the color in. Alrighty. And don't worry if you forgot anything because, like I said, when you watercolor it in, it's going to all work out really, really well. All right, so that's all I'm going to do for there. And then um, I'm going to take and do, I'm going to bring back in my, uh, let's see, my 947. And I'm also going to take my 992 and I'm going to do some of these stems. I think I got all of them. If I didn't, we can fix that when we start to the watercolor. I'm going to lay this over the top of it. Not totally, but I just kind of, I kind of do it to one side so that I can still see the first color. And this color is 947. We use that on the centers. Okay, I think that's good for now. And I'm just going to bring in a little bit of my red for my flowers here okay not a lot we're gonna do this afterwards I did it a little bit just a little bit tapping here and there and you're gonna see how beautiful this is okay alrighty so now we've got all our color on there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our I love these little guys we have a whole bunch of them we have owls and we have frogs and these are just um, I just take and use them for holding my watercolor brushes because if not they kind of roll all over and it just doesn't work good all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna spritz it so I've got my mini spritzer right here and I'm just gonna you don't want to saturate it you just want to very lightly spritz spritz okay that's all you need to do you can overdo it, trust me. All right, now what I'm gonna do is actually take and stamp it down. Remember, my little guys are up here in the, in the top and I lay it down just like this and grab my Stampendable and see what we got here. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna take and just add just a little bit of pressure to this little leaf right down here it could be that I didn't put enough on there but perfect all right so look at how beautiful that looks right now now what I can do is a couple of different things I can take and put this back into here and do all of my um, the rest of my stuff in here or I can take and use this out here this is good all by itself it comes with the Stampendable, but you can buy extras of these. I have two of them that I work with. Um, this is the one that has the liner on it. And what I do is I actually line up my cards so that um, they come out perfect every time I'm doing something. But for this right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna just use it on here today, all right? I also have my little um, mat down here, okay? Let's just take this off right here. I'm going to put that back into my stamp wheel because I want to show you how I can use it all by itself. All right. So laying this down, it's very sticky. All right. I'm going to lay my card right on here like this. And the nice thing about this, if you do any kind of watercoloring, you want this mat because what this does is it lays down so when they, you lay the water on it, it doesn't start curling. It lays completely flat. You don't need to use tape all the way around like I used to do. I love this mat. I love my stamp wheel. It is totally worth 
um, all of the money. It's not a lot of money, but it's totally worth it. Trust me. All right, so now what we have to do is to take our silicone dispenser, take our little um, paint paw right here, and we are going to um, just fill up some of the wells so that we can um, watercolor. All right, the other thing that I need is a paper towel, and we're going to just start watercoloring. All right, so what do I mean by that? We're going to take and we're just going to move around some of the um, color. You're not going to take and you're not going to saturate it. I have a number four and a number one brush, and I'm going to be using both of them. So when I when I use the number one, it's going to be for smaller things like this. And what you're doing is just blending some of the color together. You do not want to oversaturate it. All right, let's take this one, pinch off the excess, and just put it together. See? So let's do all of our green. And like I said, what you're doing is just moving the color around. You can add color to it, and you're going to see me do that. Remember to use watercolor paper. We have that in the shop. Okay. And just keep pinching it off. Your fingers get really dirty, but it's no different than gardening, cooking. You got to get dirty to, to make your masterpiece. Okay, I'm just kind of blending some of the watercolor together. Okay, see how it's starting to look really, really pretty, very, very soft, and that's what you're doing. You're you're making this soft. Now this is something anybody can do. Okay. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but do you see where I did the green and then I put the blue on the bottom? It just makes it look so beautiful. Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's already looking so good. All right, we're finishing up our leaves. And also the two-tone of these, I did the lighter color first and then I did the darker color. That lighter color is one that I use all the time on, on my projects. It's a, it's a must-have along with this green, 177, and the other one is uh, 992. They're a must-have. Okay, so we've got our leaves pretty much done. All right, let's start working on, uh, let's do our berries. I love the berries. Okay, just kind of move that color around a little bit. We're going to go back in and do a little bit of detail on them. Okay, move the color around on those. Now what we're going to do is our flowers, okay? So I'm still using my number four brush. You see how I'm softening it up without actually um, uh, just pulling it all to, I mean, you don't want it to glob together. So we're just kind of softening it up a little, and you do that by not using too much water. Okay. Now, we want to put some of the detail back into it. You can actually take this and put it back into your stamp positioner and re-stamp it. Um, we don't have to with this one, but I've done that before just to get some more of the lines and whatnot in there. So let's, oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't do the, the centers. Let's do a few of the centers here just to get them started. Okay, so now we've got everything softened up. Now what we're going to do is make sure it's, it's dry. All right, and you see how this just sticks to this little mat right here? Otherwise, if you didn't, and you didn't use the tape all the way around, it would actually be kind of bowing up a little bit. But this is working out so beautiful. All right, now what we need to do is to add a little bit of color. So I'm going to get my markers out again. And when I say add a little color, we're just going to add a little bit of detail to it. So I'm going to bring this in and just kind of show you what I mean by that. So anywhere that I think it needs a little bit more def definition, I'm going to take and I'm going to add that to this. 
So let's start with our berries because the berries I just love. Now, what I did was I used this color, okay? But I also added, and that I didn't do it in the uh, original one, but what I'm gonna do, let me just show you, is add a little bit of this brown right here, okay? This is our 947. That's the one that we did these little lines right here with, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of darkness right there. You see how that's, it just kind of blends in with that color. There's that. Let's do this right here. And now let me just show you when you, you take your number one brush, all right? Because we're not gonna do a lot of blending, but we're gonna do just a little bit and just kind of soften it up a little bit. You see how it just defines it a little bit more? All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and beauty miss. All right, now let's take that same marker because I need a little bit more right here. Okay, and I'm gonna take this one right here. See how you can just kind of add a little bit. I guess I got them pretty good here. Here's one that can be done. All right, now let's do this other one. All right, do the same thing to it. Kind of add a little bit more definition to it. Do, 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 do. Okay, darkness. And for this one, I'm gonna take and add a little bit of my brighter red, which is the 885. Okay, I'm just dabbing it in there. Dab, dab, dab. Okay, nothing, 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 no rocket science here. All right, let's take and just soften this one up a little bit. Beautiful. Loving the way this com is coming out. All right, so there's, there's both of those. Okay, there's, so I got my berries done. I've got my leaves done. Now I just wanna add a little bit more to the flowers. So let's just take and put a few more of these in here. See how it's getting, a, I'm keeping the softness underneath, but I'm adding just a little bit of definition here. That's it. Ta -da. All right, let's add a little bit of brown here. See, I'm not adding a lot. A little bit of dark here. A little bit of dark here. And what I'm doing is just kind of defining which way they're going. Uh, let's see. This is our shadow. And we'll go back and soften those up. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go back and soften those up. And we're almost done. Oh, let's put these back where they belong because then I can find them. All right, I think I'm done with my marker, so I'll put those back in my container. And I'm gonna go back in with, I think I'll take the number four. Okay, just soften these up. Wasn't that fast, easy? I mean, you could sit here and play with it, but I do wanna caution you. A lot of times when you start going back over it and then questioning yourself, it just makes it so much, it just makes it, you could do this forever, let me just say that, okay? You could do this forever. All right, let's move this out of the way. The next thing that we have to do is to make our little frame around it. So what I like to do is to take, um, let me see if I can find it here. Um, what I do is I take uh, um, one of my nesting dies. So this time I took the uh, Sprinkle Scallop Rectangle die because I love the size of this. It's a perfect size for um, this little frame right here. So my original piece of cardstock right here is five and a half by four and a quarter. It's a true quarter sheet of cardstock. And then I mount that onto a regular piece of, um, uh, a regular folded card, all right? Um, so I have my cardstock. I took my rectangles and what I did was, now I love doing this, all right? I took, and I took some acetate that we sell in the shop and I just cut out. So I took a, uh, this one I actually took, um, oh, I think it's um, four and three quarters by maybe six and a half ish. Let me, let me just measure it for you, hold on. Um, the reason I made it bigger than my card, and I'll show you why. So it's six 
by four and three quarters. And the reason I did that is because I want to use my sticky mat to hold it down, all right? So I am going to center this in my picture where I want the hole to be open, okay? And then the reason I made it um, larger is so that I can use it on my sticky mat so it will not move. So I think I got that pretty even. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, this is a watercolor piece. It is a piece of art and you don't have to worry about perfectness. Let me move these little guys out of the way. And I'm gonna bring in my Distressed Oxide. I'm using Peacock Feather. I'm using one of our blending brushes. And I am gonna very softly, softly, softly go from the outside to the inside. Now, do not worry if you get um, Distressed Oxide ink on here because this washes up. I'm gonna show you afterwards. It just washes up so beautifully with just a baby wipe, believe it or not. And I'm just softly, softly, softly putting this onto our little frame right here. I just love doing this. And this brings it all together. All right, our words are gonna be on this side. So I wanna just keep that just a little bit. I'm not doing the whole entire thing. I'm just softly, softly, softly doing this. I love doing watercoloring. It's such a fast thing, and it's actually taking me longer because I'm chatting while I'm doing this, but if you were going to town, I would do a couple of these because you've got all of the stuff out, all right? So now I think we've got this blended in just beautifully. We're gonna take and we're gonna put this off to the side. All of the directions, all of the clickable links to buy the product are in the description below on our, it's on our Teaspoon of Fun blog, okay? And that's where our shop is. We've got great uh, um, sweet rewards. Uh, we just got everything over there. So you just um, click on that little link above, the little I in the right-hand corner or the description below, and that'll get you right to our, our Teaspoon of Fun paper crafting shop, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off of here. Look at how pretty that is. It just came out so, so lovely. Now, before I'm done, I'm gonna take this, and before I put the words on, I'm gonna take this, and you don't have to do this, but I love doing this. I'm gonna take my Lumiere paint, okay, my, my uh, Bleed Proof White. I'm gonna take just a little tiny bit of it and put it on. I'm gonna use my palette knife, okay? I'm gonna put just a dab on there because this goes a long, long way. If yours dries out, all you have to do is to just put some water in it or put some water in here and you're good to go. Now, the one thing I will tell you, when you use this bleed proof paint, you need to actually clean this off really good. Make sure the inside is good before you put on the top because if you don't, the next time that you use it, it's gonna be a cranker to get off, okay? So that's all I'm gonna use. I'm gonna take my toothbrush. No, this is not the one I brush my teeth with. This is an old toothbrush. And I'm gonna pick up this little guy right here. And I'm gonna take my, my. you can add water if you need to, okay, depending on how, how um, uh, thick you want it to be. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just sprinkle that right on here, all right? Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And what this does is to give it, I, mean, I need some more. Um, what this does is it gives it this beautiful little white. Um, you This stuff will last you a lifetime, let me tell you. Okay, you don't need a whole lot. All right, and pick it up more with my, I might need a little bit of water for it, but all you're gonna do is to just, you can see it going now, and you just, just kind of sprinkle it on, and that just gives you this really pretty, uh, white hue to it, not hue, what do I wanna say? They, they're just pretty. I am gonna do a little bit of water because I think it's not, you do get dirty, I'm telling you, but you're not a crafter if you don't get dirty. I'm gonna put some of this on and I'm gonna take and add a little water. It's good for you to see me, um, I'm not struggling, but just to, to redo this, um, you don't want a lot of water because you'll spray everything, but we're gonna just take and just put one little tiny, ooh, that was too much. All right, I'm gonna take and move off the water. There we go. All righty, now I've got a lot. Now watch this. Oh, here we go, I love it. Do you see it sprinkling? I love this so much. Look at what it looks like, it's just so pretty. 
I love that. Okay, so now you can do as much or as little as you want. This is fantastic when you, you're doing um, snow, um, but this just makes it look so pretty. Look at how it did the little dots on the on the, the berries. It just comes together so pretty. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, let's move this over here. While that's drying, I'm going to show you, first of all, how easy this mat is to clean up. Let's move this over here out of the way. All right, we're just going to take and clean up our mat. I love my baby wipes. Okay, and let's just dry it a little bit with that cloth that we had out here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together my little saying. So I cut out three of these, and for this one, um, I'm doing thinking of you again because I need um, quite a few sympathy cards, which I'm, I'm sad to say. All right, so let me just show you how I do this. All right, I cut out these three right here. We're going to get our Nouveau glue, which is the best on the market. And if you don't have this, you're crazy. So you might, might want to just get it. I don't even squeeze this. All right, I do not even squeeze it. I'm just dabbing it, and it's automatically coming right out of the container. All right, so I'm going to do this three times. Because I do three layers, you don't have to, but it just looks so much prettier. All right. I'll be right back. Now what I do is I take this and I, I kind of do the excess off a little bit. And that way there, it doesn't ooze out because these are so delicate, these little sayings. They're so perfect for card sized. And what I do, the reason I do three of them is because it gets, it gives it that depth that is, it just makes your card. But you honestly do not have to do this. Then what I do, so I lift them up with my, my, um, my pointed tweezers. That's why you've always seen this in my descriptions. I always have my pointed tweezers. I always have my retractable pick. And what I'm doing is just kind of cleaning off some of the, the glue that did ooze out. It's kind of like dental floss, okay? You got to floss your teeth because sometimes things get stuck in it, all right? So we just we just cleaned out all of that. Now what I'm going to do is I am ready to put it onto my card, okay? Do you see? I just love how that looks. Do you see the little speckles? They're just, they just make it. I love it. All right, so now let me just put some glue on the back and we are ready to... Put it on the top here and this is actually frameable it's it's so pretty you can actually frame this and i've done that before with a lot of my watercolor pieces so pretty and remember when you're using your big glue or your your a nouveau glue after you're done with it always put the top on in between gluing okay and also squeeze the middle if you've got the big one because it sucks it back down in and it never clogs all right just a little tip just a little tip all right, now just take your tweezers, uh, squish off the excess, and we are ready to adhere it to our card. And we are good to go. The only thing I have left to do is to add this to um, a card base, and we're good. I can actually frame it if I want to, but I do need to use this for a regular card because I do have to send that out. Look at how pretty that is. When it dries, it just all comes together. It's just so beautiful. So that's my post for today. I want to thank you for um, letting us come into your home and spend a little crafty time with you. It's so much fun sharing what we do. Um, this is such a passion of ours. If, you, if we can ever help with anything for your stamping needs, please reach out to us. We are always here to help and teach. That's what we love to do. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be complicated, just fun and thoughtful. All products can be found in our Teaspoon of Fun shop. Happy crafting today. And remember to share it, pin it, buy it, and let us know what you think. You take care. Have a great day. And thank you so much for stopping by. 